The returns on a structured product are dependent upon the counterparty, the, the bank behind the scenes, meeting their obligations on time. Obviously, you need to assess that risk, or at least get a good indication of that risk. Now, you might choose to just invest in banks like HSBC, Barclays, Royal Bank of Scotland, etc. But you still need to recognise the potential that if those banks can't meet their obligations, you're going to lose on this aspect of your portfolio. Now, one way of assessing the risk that a counterparty poses is by reference to the credit rating agency's ratings. Now, there was criticism about the credit rating agencies in the banking crisis because certainly no one saw Lehman Brothers coming, or going as it was. The uh, credit rating agencies had them identified as being strong and capable of meeting their obligations, and ultimately they weren't strong enough. Now, I don't believe that there are many banks in the world that could survive a complete run on their assets without external support. So you need to accept that risk with any structured product unless it's completely collateralized. Now, a credit rating agency, Standard & Poor's, Fitch, Moody, etc., will give you an indication of what they believe to be the strength of that bank. Now, so at the strongest level, they might be rated as AAA, and at the bottom end, D or C. So in theory, the stronger the bank, the lower the potential return that that contract will be able to offer, the weaker the bank, the higher the potential return. Now, a high credit rating is no guarantee that that institution is going to be able to meet its obligations. So recognize the risk.